hello welcome to everyone in this video uh, today we want to uh, start a new journey on the digital electronics for the semester 6 of bsc honors physics honors under university of calcutta you can see this is the lecture number one and in this lecture we want to discuss about the integrated circuit that is the principle of the design of monolithic chip advantage and drawback of ic then the scale of integration is si msi lsi and vlsi okay so let's look at the syllabus of this portion that is digital system and application you can see this is the integrated circuit and then number system digital circuit and implementation of different circuit data processing circuit sequential circuit register and counter computer organization data conversion this is all the syllabus for this paper today we want to discuss this portion that is principle of design of monolithic chip advantage and drawback of ic and this one okay so let's start what do you mean by ic ic means integrated circuit that's mean a a large number of component are integrated integrated means the in a small region actually there is a large number of component in a small region they are uh, take place or in the accumulated okay this is the ic you can see this uh, type of images this is the ic you know and uh, you just uh, you can see in a small calculator they are also a ic okay so if you use the IC, you can um, accumulate a large number of component within a small region. Okay, so that's why the density, component density is high. And this reduces the uh, size of this device, right? So uh, if you if you require, there is a transistor, uh, some diode, etc, etc, you require, there is a required lot of space. But if you integrated this in a single single chip so it's reduce the size of this device so this is the main motto of using integrated circuit and at first 1959 jack Ripley actually made the first integrated circuit and then after developing a huge year after some year it's reduce its size reduce its power consumption okay reduce its weights also like that so this is the ic okay this is actually miniature that's been to reduce the things and uh, obviously the cost will be also low and this can be active or passive you know the active device means the device which can enhance the input is known as the active device that is the transistor fet etc and the passive device like uh, capacitor inductor resistor these are not produced amplify the input current or voltage that's why this is called passive device so active device or passive device are imprim, uh, in uh, river uh, repairably joined together on a single crystal chip of silicon that's mean if you if you join the two transistor using wire you can repair one transistor if it's fault but in a integrated circuit there are two transistor if one transistor is fault then the total ic is damaged you cannot replace this single transistor from this ic so this is the basic difference that is e repairable that means this portion cannot be repaired you must be changed the total ic okay so this is the integrated circuit that's in large number of component accumulated in the small region the components can active or the passive and if a single component is problematic or the problem you need to replace the total ic next is component of ic are not similar to conventional component but they perform similar electrical function that's when if you consider a diode and a diode in this IC, it's not the similar things, but their output, their function are the similar. That's the things. 
and another things is the fabricated by the successive deposition, etching, and the diffusion. This is the method by which the ICs are fabricated. Next thing is the advantages of ICs, integrated circuits. Advantages of the integrated circuit that is the extremely small physical size with very lightweight. It's miniature and hence increase the equipment density. Since in a small region, large number of components accumulated, so the density is high. Cost reduction due to batch processing. What do you mean by batch processing? Batch processing means many identical circuit can be built simultaneously. With a single silicon wafer, you can produce same type of IC within a single process. That is called batch processing. That means, you know, batch means a collection of the elements. They are, they, here also, a, a large number, if large number of identical circuit can be processed in a single uh, process, built in a single process, that is called batch processing. That reduces the cost production. Next thing, increase system reliability due to elimination of soldering joints. Since the, in this circuit, the two or three component connected internally, there is no soldering or joining. So there is a <coughs> reliability side. And the function performance also improved that the fabrication can complex circuit better characteristic, match the device and increase the operating speeds due to the short distance uh, stray electrical pickup like that. Suppose there is a diode and there is a transistor connected through a wire. There is a lag between the response between these two devices. But when the, within the integrated circuit, there is no such lag between the connection of the intermediate. Okay. So this also increases the speed and the time also. Reduction on the power consumption uh, as the device size is small, so the power consumption also reduced. There is some disadvantage like that if in a small portion of this uh, IC is damaged, you need to replace total IC. Okay. In, in, in the other hand, if you are separate components, if one component is problematic, you can uh, change this one also like that. Okay, now for example, I can give you an example, uh, uh, external keyboard which are connected in the PC, you know, if one key is a problem or does not work properly, you can replace this key easily. But you think about the keyboard of a laptop. If one key is problem in this laptop keyboard, you need to replace the total keyboard of this laptop. This is the basic difference between IC and discrete component. So this is the uh, disadvantage of this IC like that. And coil or inductor cannot be fabricated using IC. This is another disadvantage. Uh, IC function as fairly at low voltage. It's operate in, within the low voltage, okay. And they handle only limited amount of power. The power also is low. And they can quite de delicate and cannot be with sand rough handling excessive heat. So. Uh, you cannot uh, give the excessive heat or rough handling in the IC. So these are the disadvantage, but advantage is more than disadvantage. So we use IC and we continue this. Okay. Next is the classification of IC. Actually, broadly classified digital IC and linear IC, and they are production also different. Monolithic technology, hybrid technology. Monolithic means this within a single crystal, within a single crystal, single material, you produce various types of components. That's all circuit component, both the active and passive, and their interconnection also manufacture within a single chip of silicon. Within a single chip of silicon, you produce large number of component and their connector also. So this is the monolithic. Mono means single, lithic means stone. So with a single stone, you produce the large number of components with their connector. But in hybrid, there are separate parts and they are connected with the different wire or the like that. So on a ceramic, there is uh, there, there are large number of components 
placed attached on the ceramic circuit and interconnected by the metallization of the wire bands okay so this is the monolithic and hybrid and monolithic also classified bipolar and unipolar you know bipolar means there as hole and electron both are carries the current unipolar means either electron or the hole carries the current bipolar means pn junction dielectric and unipolar mosfet jfet you know these things okay so this is the classification of ic you need to know the monolithic and hybrid okay next thing is the scale of integration so how much components are uh, are arranged within in the within this ic this is the scale of integration this is the scale of integration so within a just you think within a one centimeter square area how much of component are accumulated if this is less than 12 this is called small scale integration if this is 13 to 99 this is called medium scale integration this is 100 to 999 this is called large scale integration and this is 10000 to 999000 is called very large integration and 100000 to 999000 is called ultra high scale integration so within a uh, package this is called package or the ic how many number of uh, circuits are there or in terms of component are there you classify that is the ICs okay so I think clear about all these things we uh, covered this portion you can see this this is the syllabus this uh, portion one that is the uh, first portion we cover up in this section in the upcoming session we will be continue in this region okay so i think clear about this thing uh, if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box this is all about me and this is my contact detail you can connect me with this telegram channel and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will be get different related videos of mathematics like this session if you learn something from this session share this video to your friends other he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe the channel if you need this channel those already subscribed thanks for subscription Press the bell icon to get notification of our video. So take care. We'll meet in the next video as soon as possible. Thank you.